what's up guys pbd here back with another video how are you guys doing guys today i'm so excited um i thought that it's a good time actually to, um, because all the new races were um, just uh, released to make a video about uh, how to farm the argosian rich um, uh, reputation um, this is because um, argos is like kind of new uh, place uh, to be uh, compared with the other uh, broken shot places that were um, released uh, exactly when the game started so basically guys um, I'm thinking like just like me there are some people that didn't actually reach yet um, exalted with Urbastion reach to unlock the blood elves um, um, new uh, race so basically um, Today video is gonna be about this. Before we start, uh, don't forget to like my video, please, and uh, subscribe. Click notifications on, uh, so you can uh, be get an alert when um, uh, the new video is coming. Anyway, um, thank you for doing this and thank you for supporting my channel. We're gonna start now. So basically, guys, um, to get exalted with um, um, Argosian Reach is an um, requirement for other achievements as well. Um, Argosian Reach is one of the two new factions introduced in patch 7.3 Shadow of Argos. It consists of refugees and outcasts that live in the shadows of Argos uh, that uh, fight against the Legion. Uh, if you want to know more about the lore, please comment below and I will make um, a new video about it. To get exalted with uh, Argosian Reach, Rewards you the achievement Protector of Argosian Reach. I'll show you in a second. This one actually. I'm exalted with the Argosian Reach. This achievement is a requirement for Paragon of Argos, which rewards you the title Lightbringer, which is a really cool. Um, um, Title, especially I think for Paladins, also for Holy Priest, maybe um, you guys know better, but I think it's a pretty cool title to have. Um, like I said, exactly the Argosian Reach is also required to unlock the Void Elf Allied Race. Um, to see the rewards, I will teleport in a second. Basically, I was just doing quests, um, farming this rep, so. This is why uh, I thought maybe other people uh, have the same problem as I do to get more uh, rep and faster. Okay, so um, to get reputation with, uh, um, once you get exalted to Argos and Reach, you get a lot of patterns, you get uh, mining. Uh, uh, um, a mining peak that uh, allows you to um, 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 sorry to uh, mine faster. Uh, what else? Um, I think uh, you also get some mounts. Let me find. Um, let me find him. I think he's a. Uh, uh, Anything can be a weapon with the right mindset. Around here somewhere. This is the Army of the Light officer. I will make a video about Army of the Light as well, guys. In darkest night, we still shine. Maybe he's on the other side. Yes, he's here. We will not fall. So we have this toy, Crystalline Campfire, uh, Orphan Marshal. He requires honor it. This is a really good thing to have. It uh, upgrades your uh, Flight Master Whistle to summon a Crocker Tunneler to take you to the nearest Light Forge Beacon while on Argus. Actually, I didn't have it, so. I will, uh, Farewell. I will just use it now. What is it? Permanently, uh, the mining thing that I said allows faster mining. What? Mining on the broken island and Argus. Permanent, permanent enchant shoulders with the steadfast enchantment along the way to obtain Argonite clusters from the corpse of their enemies. 
ne taban ne karsik zaten and there is a lot of mounts rise of the rest rain strider rise of the bearer rain strider rise of the amethyst rain strider and rise of the seven rain strider Here are the mounts. So basically, it's the same mount with different colors. Um, yeah. So let's now get uh, to um, actually um, um, get to the bottom of the um, uh, how to farm it. Uh, one more thing: after you get uh, exalted with um, um, with um, them you will get a catch like every time you actually um, um, pass a certain rep you will get a new chest and in the chest you can get mount and a lot of a lot of other cool stuff of course it's it's with um, um, low chance to drop but it's still really nice to have anyway guys uh, earning reputation is um, first of all is really fast obtainable while completing the story quest so basically when you come here make sure if you haven't just finish all the quests that you can get from here um, because they all get a lot of um, all give a lot of uh, reputation after you're done um, you should be like uh, honored I think or around honored um, with them and uh, at that point uh, there is no more quests to do so basically there is only weekly quest um, world quest and emissary quest um, you can also do Argus missions from your base and um, you can also get them from uh, from insignias uh, I will explain all this in, in a second so basically the first point was weekly quest um, the weekly quest um, there are two quests guys that you can do uh, here um, it's called, uh, I think it's uh, very repeatable, so you can do them uh, every week. Uh, Fuel of a Doomed World, I think it gives like 1000 red. Let me see if I can, can find where it is. It doesn't show on the map, guys. I actually have finished all the quests um, that I could finish, and I'm uh, at the moment I'm reverted to Exalted. Um, but when you, anyway you will see they have the NPCs have a blue uh, quest question mark um, above their head so uh, like this guy and uh, and uh, where uh, you can do that quest it gives pretty good uh, rep so I think there are two quests um, from what I remember they are here they are around here in Krokun but I'm not 100% guys I know at least one of them is here. Uh, anyway, uh, when you finish the quest, uh, just keep in when you do the quest, keep in mind to s to look for um, this uh, blue uh, um, um, marks, blue quest. Okay, you can only do them w one time per week. There is also some um, uh, weekly dungeon quest from uh, the dungeon here, guys. Uh, look, like I have now, for example, Seat of Triumvirate void more so you have to do the, the, this and this also gives pretty good quests I think it's like um, um, 300 rep or 250 or something like this so this is like this is the repeatable quest that you can do world and emissary quest um, this will be the, this will be the bulk of reputation that you can get um, basically um, this uh, your rep you get uh, by doing uh, the world quest and the normal quest they give pretty low uh, rep but it actually adds up like um, I think it on one quest one world quest it only gives you like 75 rep like this this is Arnold the life but this regression reach it only gives you like 75 rep but you can finish them pretty fast you see like there is only one boss to kill here and here also one boss to kill and here one so basically like you do one round and you kill everyone and it's like pretty easy you know and uh, it actually adds up um, you will see uh, the Argosian Reach quest 
are uh, found only in uh, McAfee, like like you guys saw here. This is just for uh, Gaussian Ridge, this song. And you can find some as well in um, uh, other places, like for example, like um, here, as you guys can see, there is a lot of Army of the Light. But yeah, anyway. Um, one thing I have to say as well is um, um, keep in mind that some quests are not for your Argos and Rich, but they award reputation for Argos and Rich. Like, for example, this quest, guys. It's uh, for the Army of the Light to, to do it, but you actually get, by doing it, two tokens that each give to get 250 reputation with Argos and Rich. So always keep in mind what rewards um, you get from the quest because some quests are not for Argus and Rich, but anyway, it's w well worth it to do. You only have to kill one boss here, and you, you get 500 rep, which is a lot for just one boss to kill. Anyway, what I want to say, like, uh, is um, look, there is a quest here in Crocon as well that gives Argus and Rich rep, but it's just one. Basically, the bulk of the uh, the world quest are in McAfee, as you guys can. Um, look uh, for yourself there is also um, a rare elite quest from any Argus zone that gives um, uh, that rewards Argus and rich reputation so uh, just look, keep an eye for the rare uh, elite quest um, because uh, Blitzar just added this to make it a little easier uh, one uh, side note, uh, to be able to do the world quest guys, you actually have to finish the quest line, which I said the first time. Basically you have to do all the quests in Argus and um, the world quest will unlock. Yeah, so what else there is? Um, uh, so there is also this quest guys that you can get uh, the weekly, uh, not weekly, like uh, this uh, emissary quest. Argus and Rich, for example, which uh, uh, um, I did one quest, you have to do four quests, and you will get the chest. When you turn in, you will get a lot of rep. I think it's like uh, 1,000 or 1,500. And uh, you obviously get the, the chest, which uh, can give you, uh, sometimes can give legendaries, whatever. Uh, look, this guy dances with me. Let me know. Yes, sorry about that. Uh, you will also get um, um, oh, what 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 was it? Um, some insignia, guys. That um, um, when you do all the quests, yeah. When you do all the quests, you will get some insignia, guys, from missions. Um, uh, this insignia actually uh, will unlock access to a new type of troops and missions when you complete uh, the quest uh, required for them. Uh, the missions um, have uh, new item rewards for your followers. Uh, you obviously get artifact power and the reputation insignias for Arsignia and Rich. The insignia are rewarded from missions. Uh, Basically, uh, you will get a rep from um, this um, from these missions as well, guys. I will teleport and uh, I will check if I have some. Um, there are two kind of insignias: the insignias that uh, give 250 rep, like the one that I showed earlier, and the uh, greater Argus and Rich insignia that gives you 750 um, rep, and then you will only get that uh, if you actually do the mission with 200% uh, 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 success chance um, like a bonus you know on top of the normal insignias you will get the greater insignia because you had uh, such good um, uh, followers I'm just waiting to see the loading over and I will uh, check out my um, missions so 
So here guys, like uh, grid base Like you see here, guys Oh, we actually change But as you guys can see here, like This is for the Army of the Light, but it's the same for um, For um, Argosian Reach I did a mission that gave me 250 and because I had so higher chance I get the bonus uh, uh, rep for 750 as you guys can see where my mouse is so basically when you send in a mission just use everything you have on those followers so you actually get a lot of uh, 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 success, success chance so um, you actually um, um, uh, get the 750 otherwise you won't get it and it's actually really important because it's actually more than uh, the normal uh, insignia um, you get uh, one or two I think a uh, normal insignia let me check mm. yeah, yeah as you guys can see I only got actually one uh, army of the light insignia this was the mission reward but because I had 200% chance on followers, I got, I got the 750, which is three times more important than the actual reward. So, uh, just work up, guys, and uh, get your followers um, up all the time. And um, uh, always only send when um, it's actually a really high chance. Um, it's worth it even to uh, wait for all um, followers to come from missions and just choose them, uh, whatever is more uh, important. Um, one o on a side uh, note, guys, um, I uh, and I understood that um, now uh, there is a chance uh, of um, um, of some drops that come from the rare elite on a, uh, on a, um, the new planet on Argos from the rares. They have um, they have um, this. Um, kind of token but it's not a token anyway uh, that can drop from them it's a really low chance but you can get I think only one per day and um, the chance is pretty low to get it anyway that gives a lot of rep uh, reputation I think it gives like one 1000 or 1500 so basically it, it worth uh, killing rare lights if you see them because they have chance to drop the, uh, to farm uh, the reputation on a, on a side uh, note, guys, um, like an ad advices, uh, it's actually uh, keep an eye for um, when Dark Moon Fair comes. Like for me, it is up. So basically, you go to Dark Moon Fair, and if there is a, a carousel there, where you can give you 10% um, more uh, um, XP gains, which you don't need, and 10% more uh, reputation awards. So make sure you have that uh, with you. Make sure you go there and have that buff when you do the quest and whatever, because uh, you passive get more uh, reputation, of course. And um, uh, what else there is? Um, let me think. I think this is uh, this is kind of it, uh, guys. Uh, uh, there is also one event, guys, uh, uh, next to the Dark Moon Fair uh, that also improves your uh, um, reputation. It's um, I forgot how it's called, but it's an event that says you will get more 50% um, uh, bonus uh, reputation during that week when the event is up. So uh, when the event is up, make sure you uh, do everything you can to get uh, a rep with them because you will get half more, so, which is a lot. Um, and now guys um, a few tips um, for people who actually didn't quest it so much and probably don't know um, for example for uh, while doing world quest in um, Argus there is like uh, you won't see the quest like I see them now basically this uh, add-on that um, actually uh, allows you to see you just mouse over it and you see what's uh, interesting for you or not or if it's Army of the Light or, or if it's Argos and Reach uh, this, quest, this uh, add on if you're interested in it which I think it makes the life really easy it's called World uh, Track Quest I think, let me check 
this is the add-on guys make more easy to see world quest world quest tracker I recommend it because it actually make, makes it pretty easy guys uh, to do everything let me check what else uh, what the other uh, things are helpful I can uh, do you guys this add-on is actually really good as well because um, when you get to uh, an area guys uh, let's say for example you got to a boss uh, you have to kill a boss but he's like pretty hard to kill alone because he has so much HP and, and stuff and uh, because of that you have to go to the maid and the custom and uh, search for that boss name like for example Villanus or Brutalus and join basically guys this uh, add-on actually uh, the same add-on that I said earlier pops um, uh, in the middle of the screen pops uh, a window and asks you uh, and asks you um, uh, world quest detected uh, do you want to uh, uh, search for a group and you just click yes you don't have to click here and go to pre-made and uh, type the name of the boss and whatever with one click he automatically does that for you he searches and uh, if he finds a group then he asks you do you want to join yes or no and you just do one more click and yes and you're already in that group guys it's really really convenient and um, um, when uh, the quest is over you will see when the quest is over you uh, uh, they, he detects that uh, you've done the quest and uh, he asks you do you want to leave the group and you do one click and you leave the group already you don't have to right click and then uh, left click and whatever you know to leave the group it's it makes it really fast uh, on everything it makes it fast uh, to do the quest makes it fast to find groups I uh, definitely uh, recommend it so guys what else it is I think uh, this this was it um, I'm going uh, definitely going to farm the rep uh, uh, because um, actually uh, I could farm it but uh, honestly uh, I had a, a lot of uh, stuff in my real life so I couldn't um, um, I couldn't farm it every day like I was supposed to to do the war quest and stuff and I actually found out pretty late that it's a requirement for the void uh, elf libraries um, so yeah um, I wish you good luck with that guys um, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video um, please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, my channel is new so any help is uh, greatly appreciated guys um, if you have advices or comments um, down below or uh, helpful helpful uh, tips for other uh, people that want to um, know things that maybe I haven't said yet uh, please comment below and uh, like you know, let's make the community a little uh, better thank you for watching guys and um, have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye bye